Protests are a common sight outside the U.S. Capitol and the White House, where I cover the day's latest political news. But on this day, here in the rain, we're on hand for a protest that's different from the rest. So we've been out here for the last hour or so in the pouring rain. These activists come out every Friday for what they call fire drill Fridays, and it's designed to call attention uh, to policies that combat climate change. The other reason why this protest has been in the news is because Jane Fonda has really attached herself to it. That's Jane Fonda on a new crusade, this time fighting climate change. Every Friday for the past two months, the iconic Oscar-winning actress and lifelong activist has led demonstrations in the nation's capital, sounding the alarm about what she calls a climate emergency. This is really a crisis, and we have very little time. The scientists say we have 11 years, and other scientists say that that may be optimistic. Why is civil disobedience your chosen form of protest? It's the moment. I'm, it's not normally a, a chosen form of protest. But we've tried everything, all the polite ways that uh, democracy allows us, petitioning, speeches, books, articles, rallies, marches, and it hasn't gotten us where we need to be. The levers of society, the levers of democracy, I mean, uh, uh, provide us with this ability to commit nonviolent civil disobedience, to, to raise the sense of urgency. And, um, and, and that's what we're doing. What's the message you're trying to convey with these Friday demonstrations? I want to put my body on the line. I want to get out of my comfort zone in a way that is regular and present and show people that this is what we need to do now. And because I have a hit television series behind me, more people will pay attention. It's as simple as that, and I'm very grateful for that. Her so-called Fire Drill Fridays are now a weekly routine. Fonda in her fire truck red wool coat, joined by hundreds of other demonstrators, including a steady stream of celebrity friends. She's been arrested four times since the demonstration started, once spending the night in jail. What was that like? Well, I'm white and I'm famous, so it was very different for me than it would be if I was African American or indigenous. Um, but it, it was not fun, it was uncomfortable, but the worst part of it was as I sat there on the metal slab that was my bed, the, the, the screams, mm. the howls, literally, of despair, the, the tumult of words coming out of mouths that I couldn't see and I couldn't even understand what the words were. They just never stopped all night long with banging on the walls and shaking of the cage. And they should not have been in jail. They should have been in with me mental care. These are mental issues mental health issues and we don't and we're in poverty and racism and we don't provide a social safety net. What do you say to people who say Jane Fonda is a, a Hollywood liberal who's trying to get herself in the news with all this stuff? I don't even pay attention. I mean, of course they say that. You know, they just like look at the criticism leveled against Greta Thunberg. <laughs> and I sent a message, don't let them get you. It's because you're being effective that they're criticizing you. I mean, they can, they can say anything they want. Look, I'm 82. What, they're not going to ever be able to do more to me than was done back in the day, in the 70s. Fonda once vilified by some for her activism against the Vietnam War. American boys are drafted, forced into the military, forced to fight a war that they don't believe in. I'm very different than I was then. I'm older and wiser. I wouldn't have known the importance of not having all white people on that stage at one time. Mm. Um, I wouldn't have known the importance of having the voices from the, the indigenous community and the most vulnerable communities on that stage. And it's made a huge difference. It's, a, it's an overarching um, crisis that affects everyone. Jane Fonda says she's temporarily relocated to Washington, D.C., now planning to reprise her latest starring role every Friday for the rest of the year. I was arrested with Ted Danson. I watched his face as we were held together in that warehouse. I could see that something was happening to him. And when we were released, he came to me and he thanked me in a way that was different. He said, no, no. And he said, thank you. And he said, you have no idea how 
how this has affected me. And, you know, I've been in the holding, you know, when I didn't have to spend the night in jail before then, manicurists, hairdressers, uh, work, working class people from all over who have never done it before that are transformed. That's what tells me this is the right thing at the right time. I know that this is going to really make a difference. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.